nitaongoza hiyo jeshi hiyo 1.5 imebaki juu wakuja wafanya nini watengeneze alafu wewe bwana machogu waziri wetu wa kilimo wa elimu sorry <laughs> waziri wetu wa elimu enda tafuta shilingi milioni tano anza kuja kujenga shule hapo isipotosha ongeza ingine milioni tano si namna hiyo si ndio tumalize mambo ya JSS watoto wasome ama mnatakaje watu ya dunia hii tuko pamoja na kama eh, ECD pia ilijengwa ama haikujengwa ilijengwa eh bas very good bahati yako wewe Lusaka umekuwa na bala kubwa so watu wa hapa Tongaren na watu wa Naitiri eh si tumamaliza maneno ya shule si tumenunua shamba si tumepata pesa ya kujenga sasa kazi yenu watoto wakuje shuleni si namna hiyo na vile mlisikia nilitangaza wiki iliyopita kuna mashule inaambia wanafunzi wale wa JSS ati serikali haijatoa pesa warudi nyumbani ati waende walete school fees mimi nataka nitangaze nikiwa hapa Bungoma tena nirudie tumetoa bilioni saba na nusu pesa ya serikali kusomesha watoto wa JSS Hakuna mtoto anahitajika kulipa fees yoyote. Atiaende ya shule ya JSS. Naelewana? So kila mtoto mwenye ako nyumbani ati aliambiwa aende atafute pesa ya school fees nyumbani kesho aende shuleni. Bila pesa kwa sababu serikali ya pesa eh, serikali ya Kenya imetoa pesa ya kusomesha watoto wetu. Na tumetoa pesa nyingi, tumetoa pesa ya primary school, tumetoa pesa ya secondary tumetoa pesa ya eh, Tibet mpaka university Mwa, mwezi huu peke yake wa Januari tumetoa pesa bilioni sitini ya kusomesha watoto wa Kenya kwa sababu tunajua umuhimu ya masomo ya watoto wetu ndio inatuletea usawa katika taifa letu la Kenya mtoto wa maskini na mtoto wa tajiri wanakuwa sawa wakipata elimu si ni kweli so education is the single most important asset that we have to create equality in Kenya and to develop our young people and to empower our citizens so that they can contribute meaningfully to the development of our country the growth of our economy and the progress that we all want to share so watoto tutafanya namna hiyo nyinyi mnajua mwaka uliopita tuliajiri walimu 1056 mwaka huu tena napeleka mapendekezo bunge wewe chikati na wenzako mujipange tunataka kuongeza walimu wengine elfu ishirini mwaka huu ili kila mtoto wa Kenya akienda shule apatane na mwalimu tuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wanasoma wote tunaelewana watu wa Bungoma tunaelewana watu wa hapa Naitiri so kuna kazi zingine tutaenda kuongea pale nimekuja pia kwa mambo ile tulikubaliana ya soko yenu hapa na mambo mengine viongozi hawa tutaongea na wao vile tumepanga. So nataka niwashukuru sana wazazi wa hapa e, ule mwenye ardhi hiyo eka tatu aandike e, andikana na yeye agreement quickly e, mtuambie account mtu yangu hapo hapa account inawekwa pesa wapi huyo mtu aanze tuanze kujenga shule. Si namna hiyo Tunataka ikifika hiyo taa mingine watoto wa JSS tayari watakuwa wanasoma kwa hii shule. Na ya speaker amesema hata yao pia itasonga songa namna hiyo. Si ndio? So otherwise mimi nataka niwashukuru sana watu wa hapa Naitiri. Wacha nichukue nafasi hii wewe eh, John. Unataka kusemea kwa kitu? Hai utaongea mbele. Huyu anaitwa John Chikati mjumbe wetu hapa mpigeni makofi. Si mnajua speaker wetu huyu papa wa Roma ama ama mjui sasa yeye ni speaker wa Kenya nyinyi mnaeleweka hiyo maneno ya kuwa speaker kweli huyu ndio mdosi wa huko na hawa ni viongozi wengine huyu eh, mungwana governor wetu Lusaka yuko area na sasa deputy president wa republic nyinyi mnajua deputy president anaitwa nani ati rigadi gashagwa AKA Rigiji 
Hasa ndio huyo. Ako area. Sema hiyo. Na huyo ni waziri wetu bwana Machogu na huyo ni investor na huyo mzungu ako pia area. Na huyo John Waluke na huyo mrembo songapa. Huyo mrembo mnamjua. Huyo ndio waziri wetu wa mambo ya afya. Ndiye amepanga mambo ya community health promoters ndiye anapanga mambo ya vile matibabu itaendelea Kenya and she is uh, she is from this region samna hiyo anaitwa Susan na Homicha sawa sawa na senator wetu mnamjua huyu kijana ni mtu mzuri si ndio na huyu ni leader wetu wa majority anaitwa bwana Kemani Shumwa na hao wengine wote ni wadosi na ni watu wazuri aya eh Michael please say something Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, all the dignitaries here. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure and a great honor for us once again to be at a school like this. I know it's dear to your heart, to your government's heart, and we commit to continue this growth and to reestablish, refurbish, and rebuild schools across the country. Thank you, Your Excellency, for the opportunity. Uh, Your Excellency, thank you very much for this opportunity.